Now, let's get into the subject matter, the agenda for tonight, PR stunts. The last few days, Ghana has experienced something that I believe has never happened before. Um, this was spearheaded by one of the A-list artists in the country. Um, many people were not too sure whether to take it seriously. And if indeed it was serious, then it was going to be a big blow to us. Only for us to later hear that it was all part of pushing an agenda. Still with me in the studios um, is Chris Carter, a media personality, and of course, Enoch Mensa Chotome. I hope I got that right. Adam, sorry. Adam Mensa Chotome. I got that right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I need to rehearse your, your, your last. I don't want to butcher yeah. it. Forgive me if I am. <laughs> but let's, let's get into the conversation. And um, I want to start with you, Chris. Your initial comments about the whole saga, the Shatawali saga, and after I'll hear from um, Echo. Let's go. Well, my initial comments was... <laughs> I actually put it on Facebook. I was like, um, the superstars or people in the entertainment industry always seem to blame the media for almost everything that goes on and even for their own problems. But at the end of the day, they have no, they, they, they tend not to hold themselves accountable for anything that they put out there. So everything's the media, everything's the media. So what about this one? Is, 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 is the media uh, um, to be blamed for Shatawale stunts, for coming out there and scaring the whole public? Mm. Is the media to be blamed? Mm. Because really, I, I, I just don't get it. Because you would expect him to be um, old enough to understand that there are some things that you just can't do. Mm. I mean, you, you don't fake your... <laughs> I mean, who, 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 who fakes their death? Who does that? Mm, like, mm. like, okay, so what if you die? Mm. What if you sleep and you really die? Mm, like, mm. that means you, you, you... You know, like, Africans will believe that you don't use your... Even Christians will believe that you don't, you know... Say negative things. negative things about yeah. yourself. So what, what if you are actually... Um, Fueling those things spiritually or, 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 or in any anyway. form of the, or with the universe. Like, I just don't get it. Mm. I just don't get it. What, what were you when you heard um, about the hoax? What was I? Yes. In and, my bed, and, please. And how did you, how did you react on, on seeing the news? Well, doing around some social media. Honestly, I saw the news the next day in the morning, and people saying, "Oh, it's a, it's a joke." I'm like, "Really? What happened?" And <laughs> because I was not really care, I didn't really care. Wow. Honestly, mm. I was like, "Like, I didn't really care." But when I saw that it was actually all a joke, I was mm. like, "No, you don't do that." Like, that's the extreme. Like, you took it to the extreme. I mean, PR stunts are actually good most of the times. A lot of um. A lot of um, ad, ad agencies and even brands mm, use mm, PR, mm, um, mm. PR stunts to actually push up their sales mm, and, mm. And, and stuff like that. So, yes, it can actually help musicians or a brand push up its sales. But then you have to be, you have to be ready to also know that, yeah, it can, it can go really south. Mm, this mm. ball can actually roll on me. Mm, mm. So did they think about that? Mm, mm, I don't mm, think they mm, even thought about that. Mm. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll get back to um, Adam, but before we do that, I did say that we have our cocktail of the week um, ready, um, proudly brought to us by a big courage consult. So we'll just invite our honorable gentleman to um, give us um, our cocktail. Um, this Bob um, so Cola Pinado. Cola Pinado. I'm sure after we are done taking this cocktail, we are going to have a taste of what it means to be a legend you know, and then also walk in those strides and do greats for ourselves. Now, Adam, yeah. two things. First of all, I just want to hear from you, your initial comments on the whole PR, stunt, saga thing. Where were you when you heard? I mean, you were an entertainment journalist, yeah. so what was your first point of call when you heard the news? Interestingly, I was moving from this area. Wow. I came to a sister station, mm. I mean, my original TV at a, a metro premises. So right. I was moving out from this vicinity mm. to the house when I started getting messages mm. and screenshots that this is what I've seen. You were a journalist, people know you yes. a journalist. So yeah. they are trying to inquire whether it's true it's or true. not. Mm. I mean, what makes everything very striking is that on January 26, 2020, mm. certain movements release a statement. Now in the statement they release, the statement was to introduce a certain gentleman that from 26th of January, 2020, a gentleman who is known 
affectionately as Nana Dope, mm. has been appointed as the official communication like manager for, for Shatter Shatterwale, yeah. Charles Niyama Minsa Jr. and the Shatter Movement. And henceforth, he will be in charge of official communication and anything regarding that SM movement. So, fast forward, he had performed that role in so many ways, to the extent that even some people refer to him as a PA for Shatawali. So, for such person to put, hmm, Shatter has been shot, battling for his life at an emergency hospital, gunmen are on the run, let's pray for, uh, thank you, Ghana police, for, for such a communication manager to put that thing. It is the reason some, you know, traditional media even fell for it. Mm. I mean, they took it. That was the gravity of, of, of that person in the camp of but, by the, they, not, not to catch you, but I mean, don't you think it was a WhatsApp status? Yeah. It wasn't an official press statement. Yeah. So would we say that it wasn't officially a communication, you know, kit that we could have? Paid attention to yeah. or taken serious. I mean, it's a WhatsApp status. Anybody yeah. can put it in a WhatsApp status. And and and, and it, it wasn't. Mm. You see, this is not the first time he's given a hint of something from the account, exactly. okay. which has ended up through. Okay. So maybe people have seen things from there. Okay. And I mean, they think that, it's yes, true. Okay. And it has went in the past. Okay. So why not this time? So that is maybe where they end. It wasn't only the Nadope. Dipoti, who is also like the road manager for Shatawali, mm. also posted on yeah, Facebook that. that like joke like those, them shoes at Hawali. I mean, and another third team member who is very close. So it's like if you are on all of their statuses and you see this coming from the triangle, I mean, you, take it you easily believe, but unless maybe you are a trained journalist who has been taught some, you know, steps of verification. verification as yeah. soon as I saw, Chris Connie is a good friend of mine. So I started calling Chris, <laughs> sending messages. Responses were not coming. Calls were not... I wasn't getting the answers. Do you think I mean, Chris Coney, I know, as soon as I call, he'll pick my call. So, when the calls were not coming, I'm, I've, into... I've been... I'm, I'm an artist manager. Mm. I'm in the camp of this artist business. I, I, I smelled... I, I was smelling something fishy. I mean, he not picking the calls yes. was feeding into the yeah, agenda. That this could be a stunt. Mm. So, it was mm. the reason I did not post it or even do a story for our website. That's wow. a, a Ghanaian Times and Spectator. Wow. I, I decided to hold back and even told my pastor who had sent me a message that it might be one of those things. It might be one of those yeah, things. Yeah, so, so wow. I mean, this one is... Of one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how we take the people mm. who, who circulated the message. So it was something, something, something grave. You know? mm. When I realized it wasn't through... Uh, 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 I was very sad for them because the consequences, mm. I mean, the, the ramifications, I saw that to be very grave, but it it's like grave. they took it light. Yeah. So I was sad for them. And I wasn't surprised what happened thereafter. <laughs> I wasn't let's, really let's take a look at Shatawale's <laughs> post on Facebook where um, he later had to come out after the police released a press statement mm -hmm. stating that they have done their bits to look for Shatawali, they went to his house, they went to the hospitals, that, the nearest hospitals that they could find. He wasn't there. He was spoken to the family members, they didn't know anything about it. And then later, uh, we see a post, we see a post from Shatawali uh, where um, he put out a very lengthy, um, how do you call it, uh, reason yeah. as to why he, he did what he did. So I'm just trying to read a few lines um, from, from the post. Um, let's take from the, from the beginning. Okay, so this is what I have to say. Psychological or emotional trauma is damage or injury to the psyche after living through an extremely frightening or distressing event and may result in challenges in functioning or coping normally after the event. The statement made by this false prophet has gotten me in a mood of violence since no one in this country cares. So, the police of this country want to tell me none of them saw those threatening statements online to take action. The pastor said 8th in October, Shatawale will be shot and you want to tell me you didn't see from your cybercrime department, nor did you hear or come across anything like that online. Then he went on to say um, that I won't wait for Ghana police to call my father and tell my father his son got shot. You know, funny enough, Ghana police actually called the father mm -hmm. and the father said your son... Yeah. Has been shot. Do you know? He said, I don't know. Okay. Um, he won't wait for Ghana police to call his father and let them tell him that, you know, he's been shot and all. Um, 
I won't wait for Ghana, um, Ghana stupid media houses to spread news to my fans about me being shot because all we wish in this country is for dead people and funerals. If my life can be threatened and there is no law to take actions on that, then I guess I will do what is right in the eyes of God. This is not the first time I've had these threats in this country. Um, I'm now, I'm now, I am going, okay, am I, uh, okay, I'm sure he meant, am I going to go through this emotional trauma alone? Um, my dad has even defended me on radio on this same issue. Why, why, Ghana, why? Yes, my life is in danger and I'm on the run till this country shows me they are lost. That he, he apologizes to the real dope for taking his phone and deporting for also taking his phone. So after this statement, having read this, mm. for me, I was like, okay, he has an agenda. He wants to end the agenda of ban false prophets or false prophets. I'm not too sure who advised him that this was the best way. It doesn't connect. To, yes. Like, so what I'm trying to find out is, was there any importance in this at all? Like looking at it from a PR stance point of view. No. Chris, what, was, there, was there any importance in, in this? For me, I, I don't think there was an important because like, like, like we said in the, we agreed in the beginning, it does not connect. What he's saying does not connect with his PR stunt. Mm. If you have a problem, like this is simple. If anybody threatens you, you can actually go to the police report. and report. Mm. So if you see it as a threat, you can go to the police mm. and say this person and they call him. Mm, mm, mm. Like you don't like these. I, I, I don't know. Yes, the police have work to do. Yes. Um, People come on, 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 on radio mm -hmm. to say certain things. Mm -hmm. But if it's hurting you that much, if it's mm -hmm. hurting your psyche that much, if it's putting you in so much trauma, mm -hmm. then it's simple. Just call the police. Just call the police. Yes, because we've seen so many civil cases that someone will threaten you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is just call the police. The yeah. police will just mm -hmm. call the person mm -hmm. and you guys will have that talk. Mm -hmm. Because I don't feel safe, I don't feel safe. Right. So this is what he could have just said. He, 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 he creating that stunt about... Killing, dying. It, see, it doesn't connect at all. I don't know. Like you cannot, you can't tell me the A to the Z of that. It mm. doesn't just connect. Mm. I think there are two different things he's talking about right now. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, Adam, this is Shatawale. Yeah. Many people have tagged him with all sort of things. You know, personally, like you're saying, the first time I saw this, I said, "Who? Oh, this one." Inugu fly because it's Shatawale. But in Shatawale's statement, he makes mention of two things. He says, the police did not do their job. No one cares. So for him, this was the best way to go about it. I want to find out from you as entertainment journalists who have covered the news for a very long time. We, we rarely see things like this. Having seen this coming from Shatawale, what does it mean to our entertainment industry and the creative industry as a whole? I mean, uh, Shatawale is one of the top artists in Ghana. And I mean, as a top artist, I've always said that every artist is a form of product. And as a product, we need to have, take everything around the product very serious. The product needs to have a certain group of people who Thank will you. help it to sell. So if I see the kind of people around Shatawale and this level of stance, I mean, it get me worried because what will the other artists learn mm, up and coming mm, mm, mm. if one of our topmost mm. can get into this, mm. you know, this stance without considering the ramifications mm. and without thinking the plan through well, mm. I mean, it, it's a cause of worry mm. for me and I didn't really like it. Mm. I, 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 I would have wished they had thought through properly. If you want to state a, 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 a prank or a stance to send a certain message, I mean, on that day, that agent, his team, together with his team, and some SM family, they could have easily wore some say no to uh, false fake prophecy, okay, yeah, false, false prophecy, prophecy yeah. and walk to the, the, the police headquarters and present... Uh, uh, what do you call it? A petition mm. exactly. to the IGP mm. to send a warning. What is the import of doing a, a, a stand? It is to get a certain free publication mm. and awareness. Exactly. And this would have worked for him. 
He would have had a free media publication. He would have had the media houses there to cover. The awareness would have been created. Mm. Easily doing this. Mm. And the so, people shoot up. Yes, mm. I didn't see the extent at which, at which he went with that prank. Because, you know, if you are, you are, you are doing uh, some of these stunts, there are certain elements you consider. I don't know whether I need to come in with it. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. when you are coming out doing a stunt, mm. you need to have a good plan. The reason being that if you are not careful, mm. they can backfire. Mm. Now, in America, there is this uh, comedian, lady comedian, uh, Kathy Griffin. Mm. Mm -hmm. She did a prank, a stunt. That was a photo shoot with her holding a bloodied head of yeah. Donald Trump. Donald yes, Trump. yes. It backfired to the extent that she had to cancel all the shows she's been booked for mm. because of the threats and the messages she was Coming, receiving. Yeah. I mean, many companies cut ties with her. She later has to, have to come out to apologize. Mm. You, you understand? Mm. And also somewhere in 204, uh, uh, Justin, Justin and uh, Janet Jackson yeah. were yeah. having a performance, yeah. having at a ball or something. Yeah. Yeah. And as part of the performance, to they were removing, the taking off mm -hmm. their shirts. Mm. Now in the process, Justin mistakenly took off the breast of yeah. Janet. Yeah. Janet yes. Now what happened was that aftermath, she was blacklisted by MTV, mm. HV1 mm. TV, mm. and that year, her Grammy invitation was rescinded. Mm. To the extent that the media were saying the actions against her were unfair because yeah. they were two. They were two. So why, why are they focusing you know, on the lady? Focusing the black on the lady? Woman. And what about the man who took off the listing? You understand? So I know that it, Justin was white it, and Janet was black, exactly. so the whole race see, conversation yeah, comes So it, it tells you the extent this thing can go, uh, stunt can go. So when you are, you are trying to execute a certain uh, stunt, you need to consider the timing. Adam, just so you can tie it in, and guys, mm. um, joining us right now is um, David Marley. He is an entertainment editor with Pulse GH. David, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's great to have you. Good. I'll nice. come to you, but I just want Adam to tie this mm. for me. No An artist like Shatawali, mm. do you think he really needed a stunt to do whatever he wanted to do? I mean, you talk about the fact that he could have, you know, taken a walk, protested mm. and everything. But it's Shatawali. Everybody listens to him. When he goes on live, he has numbers. You know, he puts out a statement. He has numbers. Why? I mean, people have, people have actually given him as reasons. SM fans are saying, oh, you know, there's an album coming up, GOG. Mm. But this GOG album, Charlie, it's been like forever. And yeah. we keep seeing reasons around for reasons. Do you think Shatawali needed something like this? To I, I, from, from the look of things, it, the thing started not really as a stunt okay. to get this kind of publication. Okay. It was like, you see, Shatawale mostly want to appear strong. You know, there is what we call uh, uh, brand equity. Okay. I mean, and that is what makes people fall in love with your brand. And Shatter's brand has always been like the brand who who is not defeatist. Mm, I mean, mm, he stand up to. Mm, so mm. it was one of the things he wanted to do mm. in line with his brand. Mm. But they did not think through. I don't think it was a PR because they have just released a single off that album. Mm. And it means that they will promote the single for a while mm. before coming to mm. the album. So he did not need such a PR or such a stunt for him. But it was just to send a message. It was not done was calcula calculably. Mm. And I, they did not calculate it well. And mm. that is where they got it wrong. You need to consider the timing. The timing, for me, I would say the timing, they were right because the, the man said 18 and they were on 18. But they didn't do well with the tone and environment. I mean, if you look at the country and you follow the news a lot, every day you, you hear that a, a, a Momo vendor has been shot, yes. this oh, bank has yeah, been shot, exactly. bullion bank. You know, so the environment wasn't conducive for you to come and compound the insecurity problem. I mean, a top artist in Ghana shows that the savers which will be sent down the, the time mm -hmm. of, you know, these foreigners, embassies and others. I mean, the, the business community. You need to consider the environment and they did not consider it well. And we need to, you need to have what we call like the cocktail rule. The mm. cocktail rule is you need to consider certain things like the gender, if you want to stage a stand, the gender, you need to look at uh, the, the, the ethni ethnicity, ethnicity yeah. political dynamics. Demographics. Some of these things need to be considered. 
And aside all of this, you also need to be ready for the backfire. When it backfires, what are you, you prepared mm. for what next? And looking at Shatawali's posture, I mean, he's ready for the backfire. Mm. I mean, mm. so I would like to say that they didn't get the uh, environment well. They didn't get the plan well. Mm. They could have done better. Mm. And I, 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 I really feel sad that they have, you know, gotten themselves into these rough edges of the law. And it, it really, really saddens my heart. <sighs> wow. Uh David Molly, yes, uh, you are an editor with um, Paul's, an yeah. editor for that matter. Yeah. I just want to pick your, your thoughts on what the team or the mood of your team was like when you saw the WhatsApp statuses going around that Shatter has been shot yeah. at East Legon. Now, East Legon, if I'm not mistaken, is an area that you, yeah, your exactly. office, is situated at. Yeah. So, if not for anything at all, <laughs> you know, but so. Share with us your initial thoughts as an entertainment editor and also perhaps as a fan of Shatawali. Yeah. <laughs> what did you make of that? Yeah, I'm never a fan of Shatawali. Let me show this disclaimer before we continue. Okay. okay. So, you know, East Lego is big. That's it's right. It's like saying Accra. Like, you are going to Accra and then right. you ask you, where, which part of Accra are you going? You are like, I'm going to Accra. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, East Lego, uh, when the issue happened, when we saw. It, it started with a tweet, and yeah. we're actually one of the few people who started uh, pub publishing the whole story. Yeah. So then, when we saw the tweet, a, a screenshot of an Adobe screenshot yeah. of, yeah. The, of the whole incident, and then I, I quickly went to Snapchat to see if it is true. I checked there. Someone had, someone told me he had already checked, and he deleted it. So mm. I think when the whole thing was creating traction, like mm. the whole thing was, mm. the whole bus started, and then Anadou deleted it. And so I went back again, checked the Snapchat, did all my searches that I have to do, did the metadata, and did everything that I have to do to verify the news, if it is true that he posted it. And it was true. I mean, we, we, we tried to reach out to the team. We called Anadou, we called Dipoti, we called there was this guy, Aaron, and we called mm. and nobody was speaking the call. So my chief editor was like, okay, so if nobody is speaking the call and the news is also going around and we have a proof that this is actually coming from the PR, the one who's mm. supposed to give mm. us the news, mm. the one who's supposed like to confirm everything. Earlier. Exactly. Yes. So yes. if it's coming from a PR, what else should we do? Should we go and call the brand mm. manager, Chris, <laughs> Chris Connie, or should we mm. go and call Bulldog to confirm this? Mm. I mean, definitely as a media house, we want to get on the news and do it quickly. Mm. I mean, we did. And we, 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 it took us some time, though. We, we had to wait and see which other media house we pick and then see the trusted one before. Mm. But mm. the traffic was going. It was so, going, so you had to yeah, put in the story. Exactly. <laughs> so the whole team wasn't excited. When mm. we, we saw the story, we were shocked. And from where the incident, they said it happened, East Legon. You know, Shatawale, that's the area of Shatawale. Yeah. So we were a bit confused. Like, we were... We were moody mm. that day. Myself personally, I was moody. Like, ah, why would this thing even happen? So, while doing the story, I was still praying for Shatawali. Wow, Shatawali should get. So you the, actually believe the strength? It. You know, it's coming from PR. Okay. What do you expect? Mm. And from the messages that the PR published on a Snapchat, you would everybody would believe it because these are close members of exactly. The and yeah. the way he went about delivering his message and all that. If you decode and all that, you, you could you, you you will believe like you will believe it no matter what. And coming from PR, it's not like his account was hacked or something. Mm. You mm. get it. Mm. You can even make an excuse with that that oh maybe my account was hacked. Just like they did. This is not even the first time they put such publicity stunt. Some time ago, he dropped his the, uh, this tip. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know it. I, I was, uh -huh. was going to go to that. <laughs> and they did it on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Later they came out and said, oh, it was a mistake mm -hmm. and accident. And then that whole thing went off. So we we're, were moody and we were like, oh, okay, this is bad. You know, we know Shatawala is controversial and all that, but if something happens to him, I mean, there's no way we're going to be happy. So it was kind of like moody day uh, throughout the day until... The arrest came. The arrest came. And, mm. yeah. So, from where you sit, how, what, what would you say is the, the limits when it comes to PR stunts? 
you look at the profile of Shatawale, Adam made some brilliant points about some other approaches he could have used to achieve his goal, his purpose. I mean, um, yesterday, uh, is it yesterday or two days ago, when he went to the court yeah. and he was coming out, yeah. he said he's ready to go to prison, he's ready to go to jail for yeah. this. Like, he's yeah. like, and Adam actually said it, like, he doesn't have the, he's, he's, he's not a defeatist. Like, yeah. yeah, he's going all the way to yeah. the end, you know. And I'm just thinking, when would you say, because the tape you talked about yeah. was for me, that is the highest. But yes. this seems to be like yeah. the highest of yeah. highest. Yeah. <laughs> you know? The, the tip, there could be more. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, so I the, the tip caused mm -hmm. excitement and this one caused fear and panic. Right. <laughs> you get excitement so, for the boys. Exactly. So <laughs> now two, no, three people are yeah. with him, you know, and remind and everything. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just throwing to the floor. Anybody can yeah. pick it up. How far is too far? I mean, can I come in? Yes, I, sure, I think it, if you are doing publicity stunt, the only limit is when it will cause fear and panic, let's put mm. it that way. Mm. That's where it will cause public outrage, like everybody will be like, oh no, why? Why are you playing with our feelings and all that? That's where uh, you can say the level is. But, you know, in, in publicity stunt, you don't really have a particular point where you say, that's it. You get it. If you look at Hollywood, for instance, they, they put so many P, uh, like publicity stunt mm -hmm. and all that, and they keep on doing it. Every day they will do this. Uh, Kanye West, for instance, he's doing this today, tomorrow he's doing that, the next day he's divorced, the next day, no, the divorce is cancelled, <laughs> and then after <laughs> and you get it, mm. it, they do it. Like Lil Nas X. Yes, it, yes. It, yes. It, yes. Recently, yeah. Yeah, imagine a man being pregnant. It's, it's purely PR. So, so, so you think, you think yeah. to pull a great or successful publicity stunt would be dependent on the kind of team you have. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. your, your yeah. people should Shata, Shata, uh, Sorry if I'm cutting. Shatawali oh, has, Shata Shata has that kind of team. I mean, working with he Chris Connie, I know Chris Connie to be one of the best PR people around But I don't think Chris Connie was on this one, exactly. was he? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so he's got it, day, but you see, Shatawali's brand is not... <laughs> Let me put it this way. It's not like a manageable brand. Like you are managing <laughs> Patapa, managing someone like Yapudu. I mean, these are the brands that they are always in the mud. And it will be really difficult for you to deal with brands like Shatawale. Like wow. Shatawale, who feels that he can do whatever he likes. He, he has his freedom. He has the power. He has the influence. He, he has the money. Mm. What you else? Can what, can you, what can you tell him? Exactly. Mm. So if, if you tell him, he tell you get money. He, he has the team. Mm. He has a whole team. He has PR. He has brand manager. He has road manager. He has world manager. He has distributor. <laughs> he has manager. whatever. <laughs> he, he has a camera. He has a videographer. Everything. But mm. the brand, the person, as a brand, is it's not something that you can manage easily. Mm. It's not easy. It, and then, uh, what, what do you think? Shatawale would need or needs because I, I get the sense a lot that you know Shatawale is unmanageable. You know you can't manage him. He's hika hika. You know he he does he commits the error and he comes to give us a baby face. I'm sorry, I don't do it again. The contractor <laughs> incident. You know where we thought you know Shata wasn't afraid of the police. Then later a warning came and then he came to apologize. Then he's done this again. You know I'm sure. Even if everybody is telling him, Charlie, do it, there's somebody saying, Charlie, boss, make no do one more. But maybe the guy don't get money. Right? So, how do we spin it? How do we protect the Shatawale? But whatever you like it or not, Shatawale is one of our A list yeah, artists. Yeah. He's the one who has done a song with Beyonce. His yeah. name is out there. You know, he's a global yeah. musician. Unfortunately, the BBC called him a fugitive, which we can't do yeah. anything about yeah. because. Yeah. But it's true. Yeah. That's the best description. Yeah, but, for him. Yeah, but you see, he spoke yeah. us in that light. You yeah. Know? Uh, uh, so, and you know, on, on this very thing, talking about one of our own, he has gotten that international platform. A, a, a radio station, big radio station from Senegal, mm. called me to interview me on their news mm. on this very case. Mm. It tells you how far... The thing has gone. Yeah, yeah it really gone. went far. I mean, so, talking about the brand Shatawale and what we can do. Earlier, I talked about brand equity, and that is what makes people fall in love with brand. There, is, there are a lot of phones, but Olele would love... A certain brand of course so if you go you don't get it and another brand is giving you the same functions you will not love that's right love it because of a certain feature because of certain things it makes you easily fall in love mm. now if you look at the shatawali brand and his brand equity what make people fall in love with him i earlier said that he doesn't show that defeated attitude he is the brand who can go to the gutters he's the brand he's ready to get dirty. Who, who always want to show i'm with you on the street He's the brand who want to tell you that 
I will stand to authority. I mean, you can't cheat me. He has that kind of brand. So anytime he switches, interestingly, when he switches to, he gets the backlash. I mean, recently, there was something about youth unemployment, am among others, and he was, like, on the side of the government, mm, mm, on mm, social mm, media. Mm, he saw mm, the back. It yeah. was the first time I saw people with yeah. G-O-G. Fix the country. Fix the country. Fix the country. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw people with G-O-G DPs insulting Shatawali. <laughs> I was also, I was so, this doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah. I was so surprised. You know, mm. so that was a certain portrait he has always given to the public that I am for the street. So if you twist, you get issues. Doing, doing this, his team needs to sit him now and let him appreciate. At times, you, you can walk, you have gained a certain, you know, respect, modicum of respect mm. or momentum, but you yourself will not know mm. until people tell you and it goes into your head. Mm. They need to sit him down and let him know his level and the kind of affiliation he has with brands and what certain steps can cause him. He needs to, he, they need to, Push that thing into his head. But you know, these brands are not even pulling out. I mean, last night or two nights ago, I saw a story of how Tiwa Savage has yeah, lost, lost, lost yeah. a number of brand well, endorsement deals because of what the team yeah. that leaked and everything. You come to Ghana, Ghana we, re we rarely hear things like that. Like when someone misbehaves, quote unquote, yeah. the, the brand seems to still be with, be with the artist. They don't, they don't necessarily pull out. So do you think that's also encouraging him to do yes. what he's doing? Oh. Because he's, he's, he's signed to a number oh, of... Maybe uh, the brands want to take their time for, 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 for us to get to the final conclusion of the case. Because, mind you, this is just a remand. And it doesn't mean that the case... Has but been. do they have to wait to get to that point? Uh, I mean, has, the action is there. He no, has denied. I think, I think, I think it, it depends on the brand because yeah, remember exactly. when Teacher Kojo? Yeah, mm. Teacher Kojo. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think he had something with Huawei, mm -hmm. and because he said something that was a bit misogynistic yeah, and sexual mm -hmm. or sexist or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he was pulled out of that Huawei deal, mm -hmm. and that is because it is Huawei. Mm, Do you understand? Mm, mm. But now, I, I, yes, brands. exactly. So it depends on. The, it actually depends on the brand. The philosophy working. of the brand. Exactly. It, 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 like, like she said, it, it, it's the brand. It's, it's some, some, some. Sorry to say, some brands are not up, up there. You mm. know, new brands and all that. If you sign Shatawale with a huge sum of money, uh, you, you wouldn't let the money go like that because <laughs> if you if you cancel the, the deal, I'm not sure you are going to request get your money back. Yeah. Like <laughs> uh, so these new new brands, no. So it, it depends, it largely depends on the brand. So for instance, like Stoneboy, when that fracas yeah. happened at yeah. the VGMA, yeah. immediately Samsung deal collapsed. Put out, yeah. You get it? Uh -huh. yeah. If Samsung were to be working with Shatawale, I believe by now they will put out, exactly. out of them. Mm. You get it? Because uh -huh. mm. they respect themselves, they respect their brand, and they would not want to associate themselves with people like you know, Shatawale and, and, and all that. So I feel that it largely depends on, on, on the brand. On the brand. Okay. And then, let's, mm. let's look back into the, the scope of time. Ghana as a country and our creative industry as a whole, this is the first time we are looking at stunts. Mm. Um, yeah, Shatawale has done his bit, but we also had a number of Ghanaian yeah. artists do. Yeah. So at what point would you say this was a successful stunt? I look at a stunt by Bullet and Wendy Shea. Yeah, leak, when, they audio. when they wanted to release the, the, the Boy's mm. Mind yeah. song, yeah. and we had a leaked yeah. audio that they were sleeping with each other and everything, and then it went on the carpet. Um, we heard of an, uh, Nana Romeo and Wendy Shea's, mm -hmm. you know, fracas, that yeah. it was also a stunt. So I'm not too sure. When, when would you say this stunt was successfully done? Looking at our demographic, I'm not looking at Hollywood, I'm looking at Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay, if an artist is watching us right now and their team is thinking of doing a stunt, what would you say is going to be successful if they try? And what would you say is a no-no if they did? All right. When you are <clears throat> coming out with a stunt, there is the opportunism and also there is the strategy. Most in times, people are so bent on the opportunity they are taking out of the stunts. Mm. They, are, they mm. are engrossed with the viral, it will go and they lose out on the strategy. Mm. I mean, but when you focus on the strategy, you will be able to execute. Now, executing a successful stunt, you need to walk through the middle of controversy and of offensive. And with the offensive, it is cocktail rule. 
gender, political dynamics, uh, there is the rule of law, and a whole lot of things. Ethnicity is Ethnicity. in there. Mm. Yeah. So if you are able to walk through the middle of offensive and controversy without going against the cocktail, and you are able to get the awareness and free publication or the free media, that means you've succeeded. Because what is the import of doing a stunt? It is to create awareness mm. and it's to get a free media. Mm. Then we will say um, when the shades on was not successful. If you say if, that. Okay, yeah, if, if, yeah. if you use because that Because now yardstick. with the gender part, mm. that means you are taking another woman's husband. And now everybody's looking at this particular gender as problematic. Mm. Oh, it's always women. Always it's always women. 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 Okay. You but know? Do, do you get what she's saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and she will not be far from, from, from getting it because when the shades brand has been a brand, at times people ask, so why do people hate when the shade? I mean, it will oh, be yeah. as a result of some of these things. These things right? I mean, people feel she's taking up her airborne. People she feel yeah. she does certain yeah. stands which yeah. are not right. So it can build up to why people would, hate her like, for no interest. reason. Yeah. I mean, so it, it could be right. That's How people receive it is also important because mm -hmm. when you do a brand, you get the awareness. It is everywhere. You get free media and people do not receive it well. It will affect how they relate to your brand. Wow. So that is also okay. So you need to look at the cocktail. So it's, it's, not, it's not as easy as we see and here. It can terrible. make it or make you. And it has happened outside Ghana Even and in, in Ghana. Yeah. So you, you should have it in mind that wow. you Chris, need do, to think through. Chris, do you think Shata, Shata will come back from this? Well, do you think he will bounce back and be the Shata Wale we know? Because we saw what happened to Kwaokese. Yeah. Um, you know, when well, you come back from the law. <laughs> oh, but Quarkas is on. I don't think it's only going to prison. I mean, clearly, if you know Shatawali's team, you know that Fennec was a pivot in the team. Okay. And his death already caused some nosedive in mm -hmm. his career. Because so you mean Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Because Fennec, who was his manager, manager yeah. was... I will tell you that he brings all the widest ideas, the, the strange ideas. Mm -hmm. He brings mm -hmm. them. And he was killed. He wasn't around. Mm. And he also goes to prison. So already he was battling so with really his career. Use that comparison. Before, so it will not be a straight one. Okay. I mean, okay. it will have certain uh, okay. angles. Okay. Chris, so, so with everything that's said right now, looking at where Shatter is mm -hmm. right now, um, next week he would appear before court again. Mm -hmm. And it's either he pays a fine or he's in you know, misdemeanor of years. three years. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Do you think he's going to bounce back from this? I think um, there's a very high possibility that he's going to bounce back because, one, Shatawale has a cult. He has a cult. It's not like he, he doesn't just have fans. He yeah. has, like, a dedicated cult, you know? So definitely he's going to bounce back. But um, on the other side, he's going to lose some fans. Mm. Yeah, he's going to lose some Do you fans. think so? Right yes, thinking, yeah. Right thinking, right thinking fans. Because <laughs> the SM movement... Right especially... Thinking, no, this is not right about... Right uh, you're, you're, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not about <laughs> just the SM movement, right. but maybe people like us that think that, ah, Shata Wele is, you know, has mm -hmm. a great song. Mm -hmm. but, but someone like that could just be like, mm, man, what he did last time wasn't really... But he's got a hit, though. He's yes, got he, he, he's got so many hits. But, I mean, Rih Rih Rihanna has also been through... Um, a mess like this, right, right, you understand? Right, but right. she she didn't she didn't have to go to prison or anything. But right. remember when she was promoting her seven seven al seven 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 album, mm. and which she promised thirteen fans to fly with her around. Mm, mm. I mean, the mistake they made in this whole PR mm, thing was mm. uh, they invited the media on board with them. Mm. So the uh, media came out and reported that there were some behaviors that Rihanna and the team put out there that the fans no. were not supposed we're not to have supposed seen. Have so seen. they said there were drugs, I mean, there were alcohol on the plane, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Rihanna was always quick to be angry. So like and exposure. So, sort of, exactly. Yeah. So it was a backlash for her. Mm. They even had to call that whole tour 666s. Mm. So from 777, mm. they called it 666s. Yeah, that was a tour of hell mm. and all mm. that. Mm. So at the end of the day, where's Rihanna today? Mm. I mean, she has come out from all that. Mm. You understand? Mm. Because there were kids involved. And, I mean, she has come up from all that. So I think there's a, there's a very high possibility that this yeah, is Ghana. We, we, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we love let, me, like let, me that. Pick, let me pick some thoughts yeah. from, yeah, um, yeah. from, from David. Yeah, David yeah, okay. uh, I, before you answer yours, because we, we don't have much time, okay. I want you to tie in um, medical situation as well. Okay, you know, okay. he, was, he was arrested for brandishing a gun. Yeah. If you know he put out, what, a month or so ago? It's uh, uh, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, yeah. you wow. know, and uh, the law has gotten hold of him. Mm -hmm. He was going to spend some time, mm -hmm. you know, in, in prison. 
with everything that's going on right now, I mean, Shata says medical is his son, so it's a father and son situation right now. Yeah. Do you think after these experiences, both of them are having right now, yeah. they can bounce back? They, they, can, they can really do it. They mm. can do it. Um, looking at medical, uh, his arrest saddens me more than Shatawali. Yeah. Uh, because Shatawali has been to police cells like how many times? <laughs> you, can't, you can't even count. Mm. Shatawali has had these issues with uh, the police all the time. But you see, that medical guy is not like Shatawali. His brand is far different from Shatawali. Uh, the only thing it does is, is uh, showing off and all that. Aside from that, he's not that rude. He's not like, aggressive like that. He doesn't insult anyhow, unless you insult him. If you insult him, there, yeah, he won't forget. So that's his chance. Exactly. <laughs> but but I, feel, I feel medical will bounce back. Mm -hmm. And this is even going to be another... It's going to win even new fans, I'm sure. Mm. That is, it's even going to open more doors to... I mean, win the heart of Ghanaians who feel that, no, I mean, brandishing Ghana on social media should be like, it's, it should be normal. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's not like he took it outside or something. I know it might be against the law and all that. I, 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 I don't know what the law really, really uh, says about it, but I feel he's going to win fans and he's going to bounce back. And when he's back and he's, he drops something, I believe a lot of people are going to stream it. Uh, on the other hand, Shatawale is also going to survive. I mean, he's been to to police house. How many times? <laughs> He's been to yeah. the last time he went after the VGMA, I think he also had an issue with police. Yeah. Uh, that's a contractor thing. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So He's been there. You know, you know, you know Shatter has signed a bond of good behavior. Yeah, he's that signed. That one too is there. We haven't talked about it. The VGMA <laughs> one is not done. It's, it's, I'm not sure it hasn't expired. No, it hasn't. And then uh, the contractor, the contractor one, one And then this one. Hasn't, you see? So <laughs> it's it been mm -hmm. his behavior. And also, that kind of lifestyle, that, that kind of, the, what's going on in Shatawale's life right now mm. is, is, is just what dance all is. Mm. That is dancehall. That's that's if you if you read the history of dancehall, reggae is far different. Reggae is more calm. Brands like reggae brands are calm than than dancehall. Dancehall are like ragamuffins and all that. And <laughs> they don't care. They are always street people. They can go to prison. They can go to cell. They can go and come record there, even release some right after they are out of prison. Wow. And Bujubanti and all that. They've done it. Well, so his idols feel, are popcorn and vibes exactly, cartel. Exactly. Wow, exactly. You know, so someone the, said he'll do a photo shoot. Exactly, there. it happened. So I feel Shatawale <laughs> will bounce back, mm. and this may even give him extra publicity because Shatawale currently is struggling to produce a hit. Sure, wow. he's really, really struggling. Honestly, for the whole year, he's dropped like a lot of songs. Last year, he released like almost 100 songs, and sure. Not sure. he didn't even have one hit. So when he's back and he drops a link, people would, would like to listen to see what. Mm. He has to tell the public and all that. So I feel it will, it will be good. It will, it will be good for you. And one thing I want to say is that we should also look at Shatawali's issue from a different perspective. These prophets have been doing this. They keep on prophesying doom, like, all the time. What happened after, after uh, Niger Gaze, Gaze he did Gaze, the prophecy yeah. Yeah, about Ebony? What happened? What happened when Obusu, Obusu Benpa did one about the chief imam? People storm his church and they attack his people and all that. What happened? You see, and you know, Ghana police people do not have that trust in him. So I, feel I that think we would have to come going back. Going forward, we have to come going back. Going forward, the prophet will be careful. Prophecy, yeah. If you watch the recent prophecy by Niger, Niger Gezi, yeah. you, you realize that he was careful. Yeah, <laughs> police yeah. before us. Yeah, <laughs> Mali. I, I wish I could have time yeah, to continue, exactly. but I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll come back another, yeah. and then talk about fake prophecy, false prophets, yeah. how to regulate them, and so on and so forth. Sure but guys, thank you fun. so much, yeah. Adam. I know you have a lot to say, but yeah, please yeah. forgive me. Yeah. I have to go. Um, so special shout outs and thanks going out to Chris Carter. She's a media person. Adam Mensa Chotome. I gotta take my time yeah. and say that he's a journalist with mm -hmm. Spectator and uh, the other news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. brand manager. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, David Marley, he's an entertainment editor say, with Paul's uh, Big ups to uh, Madame Vaida, Vaida Bochi, okay. and uh, Rauf yeah. and Isa Madu. They are watching. watching oh. And happy birthday to Mother. All right. Yeah, happy birthday. All right. So yeah. there you go. Have, have your birthday shout outs right here on the chat.